Hello and welcome to the Minutes to Win It podcast on Big Italy 42. He is Jason Gilbo at jgilbo11. And we're talking about tonight, once again, a seven-game slate. And I'm fine with there being a seven-game slate every day for the rest of uh, eternity because I love seven-game slates. I know you, you're you a fan as well. Um, obviously, that's not going to be the case because a um, couple couple days from now, we got Thursday coming up. I'm pretty sure it's a three-game slate. Um, well, let's see, actually. Uh, three games. So, unfortunately, it's going to be a small one there. But either way, good slate for tonight. Um, we got a couple really high totals. We got a 219 point total um, in uh, in Washington with uh, current Thunder player, uh, future Wizards player Kevin Durant. Uh, at least what people are saying. But uh, we're going to talk about some injury concerns in some minutes here. Starting off with uh, Isaiah Thomas. Obviously, going to see himself a nice bump. We've got uh, Marcus Smart is uh, officially out for tonight, so he's not going to play once again. And if you're looking at the game logs, it seems like Isaiah Thomas didn't take on a bigger workload last game because Smart's now missed two games. This will be the third. But that game was a blowout. I think it was a 30-point game at halftime. Yeah. So Thomas only played 26 minutes, but we should see him back up in the 35 to 36 range tonight. And uh, Milwaukee's not an ideal matchup, but you certainly like to pick on them with point guards because with Michael Carter-Williams out as well, um, there's no size uh, disadvantage, I guess, for Thomas. Yeah, I mean, if Michael Carter Williams wasn't, I would be a little bit more hesitant, just because. I mean, the guy's just lengthy, and Thomas being five eight or whatever he is, um, it wouldn't be an ideal matchup. But um, yeah, I mean, look for him to be thirty five minutes again tonight, and I mean, still priced as a pretty cheap point guard, I guess, um, in consideration to the others. But who has you know similar upside to guys like Lowry? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, that usage rate, almost 33% this year. So he's he's going to be um, the focal point of that offense. And then we mentioned Michael Carter-Williams. Um, he's he's going to be sitting out for tonight, we said. So we don't know how long he's going to be out. But either way, for tonight, it's going to be another one of those situations that you really don't like because um, there's not a lot of good players behind him. Obviously, that's why they're all backups. But Jared Bayless, one of the more inconsistent guys, played 47 minutes. 30 fantasy points, 30 minutes, 13, 28, 13, 32 with 41. So he's a guy you consider. Throw him in your tournaments there. Um, should see some minutes. Grievous Vasquez will also see minutes, though. Maybe Tyler Ennis. But I think Bayless is probably my preferred play of those. But I don't really expect any of those three guys to play more than upper 20s, maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, I can't see anyone really logging a ton of minutes out of the three guys there. Um, and I'm, I'm with you on Bayless being probably a tournament play at best. Um and kind of the other options I'm not really paying attention to, especially Vasquez after his last game of going over 10 from the field. Yeah. Uh, that's brutal. I mean, I doubt that'll happen again, but still, um, his upside's pretty limited. Yeah, yeah, so not a whole lot to see there. Um, next up, we got a few um, other guys. Damari Carroll is a guy who's um, going to have kind of a big effect on this game tonight because, obviously, he's listed as questionable. Um, it's going to matter here for Carmelo Anthony because he's either going to see Demar Carroll, who's a really tough defender, or probably James Johnson if not. So Carroll, questionable game time decision it looks like for here. But they said plantar fasciitis, so that's not usually something you're rushing back from. So um, if I had to speculate, I would assume he's not going to play. And I actually kind of think James Johnson will get at least the number of minutes. I think it was 26 that he played last game, maybe even more because they're going to need him to defend Carmelo. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those injuries where it's probably going to be we're going to see this a lot, uh, him being questionable, because it's just an injury that comes back. Um, you need time off to, to really heal it. So um, I, doubt, I doubt he plays tonight as well. And, um, I mean, probably looking at James Johnson to log, you know, definitely 25-plus minutes. I mean, hopefully he can get into the 30s, but probably not an option we're looking at anyway. Yeah. Um, Brad Beal here, they say dealing with a bruise, whatever that means, a shoulder injury. But shoulder injury, not good uh, for a basketball player. That's going to rely on you know mobility to knock down shots, especially a guy like Brad Beal, who is pretty scoring dependent here. So could end up sitting out this game as well. Um, if he does, as far as guys directly behind him, you're really not excited about playing Gary Neal, but he is man salary, should step into a bigger role. But really, I think the guy that gets the biggest bump here, uh, maybe Otto Porter gets a couple more shots, but probably John Wall is the one who's just going to um, take over. Uh, but then again, John Wall matched up with Russell Westbrook. Not exactly going to be a, a, an easy matchup for him. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at this game, like you said, the highest point total. So there's going to be a ton of points on both sides. Um, if Beal does it, it's probably going to be Neil. Look for some Ramon sessions as well um, out of the backcourt. But still, two guys uh, I'm not really in love with. Yeah. Um, another guy who's got injury concerns, J.R. Smith. 
Um, even when he's on the court, he's GPP only. It's a matchup with Utah, so even if he plays, he's not a guy I'm really looking at at all. Um, but if he's sitting out again, then, I mean, we're still going to see just kind of – we saw Richard Jefferson get the start, but he hasn't been very good. We see guys um, like James Jones every once in a while gets minutes, but he's just a shooter. Really, this is a situation that I'm going to be avoiding. I mean, if I'm playing anyone against Utah – from this game it's LeBron if he's healthy so we'll talk about him too because he's listed as questionable with uh I think it's a thigh bruise so I mean if he doesn't play really it's just Kevin Love for me in this matchup but I'm not rushing out to play anyone against Utah I don't care what team they play for so you're not gonna fire up your boy uh Della Dova <laughs> no <laughs> it, my boy is Kevin Love and I'll, I'll, I'll play some Kevin Love either way but Della Dova I mean I swear I could beat him on at one of them. I, I'm just saying <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean this game's not an ideal matchup. I'm probably probably fading this game for the most part. Um, it's essentially just going to be a six game slate for me because I don't really want to grab any pieces. But if LeBron is out, he said he's ready to go. Um, I you know I have no problem with with Kevin Love. Um, his usage rate will get a bump definitely, and I think the matchup would probably scare a lot of people off anyway. Yeah, so we could see some low ownership there, and I mean um, just his ability to stretch the floor gives him a. Uh... A little bit of a floor and upside in this matchup because he won't have to be down low uh, against Rudy Gobert very often. Um, another guy, Omar Ashik, is listed as questionable. Probably a game time decision for tonight. Um, not a guy who has much value anyway. He's only played one game, played 10 minutes, but he's a good defensive presence for the few minutes that he will play down low. Really, what this changes is we could see Anthony Davis playing at the five instead of the four. Maybe we see Ryan Anderson start next to him at the four. So, really, the bump here, and it's a very marginal bump. It's just, you know, Davis moving to the five and maybe Ryan Anderson picking up a few more minutes. But I just don't think anything substantially different other than the fact that maybe you take a little bit away from uh, the Dallas offense if uh, Sheik does end up playing tonight. Yeah, I mean, looking at the guys, the New Orleans rotation, they're still going to see their usual minutes. Anthony Davis is still going to log upper 30s. Uh, Ryan Anderson's been actually pretty consistent minutes-wise, getting 31, regardless of if a Sheik is in the lineup or not. Um I mean, I think I think Ryan Anderson's actually a pretty pretty solid play. The more I look at it as we go on here, um, you know, he had he had thirty five DraftKings points last time out against Dallas. So they're both coming off a game where they just played each other. So if you want to take a look at the game logs there, um, you know, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, he's been really consistent. I mean, twenty five plus fantasy points. It looks like five straight. So he's a guy who's a shooter, but he's also been contributing some rebounds and peripherals, so you got to like that. Um, one more guy to talk about, Drew Holiday, sat out last game. Obviously hasn't been cleared for back-to-backs yet. He'll be back tonight, but still don't expect huge minutes. I mean, somewhere in the 23 to 27 range like we've seen him before. Still a guy that if you're playing a bunch of tournament lineups, I'll throw him in a couple because there's zero uh, guards for Dallas that defend well. Um, none of these guys are good defenders, so Drew Holiday, got to imagine that he'll be able to produce and have a high usage rate while he is on the court. Just don't expect him to see 30 minutes here. Yeah, he's definitely not. And this kind of means more, you know, I probably an 80% chance he plays tonight just because he had the game off last time and a couple days off. Um, but, you know, Tony Douglas, he saw eight minutes when Drew Holiday was in the lineup and then 28 when he wasn't. Um, and Ish Smith was the other guy who saw 30 minutes, um, you know, in both games. So I think he's more of a comfortable start if you're looking to go value there. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind Ish Smith. And as we've seen before, I mean, he can put up points in a hurry. So both those guys in play there. Um, and I mean, I, I think if you're playing a ton of tournament lineups like I'll be doing, I don't mind throwing in a couple that have like uh, an Ish Smith and a Drew Holiday because it's a good matchup for both of them. Get all almost all the point guard points. I don't know. You can get creative tonight. I mean, seven games, but not a lot of value here. So you gotta you gotta pick your spots so that you can get yourself some uh, Kevin Durant narrative game uh, exposure. But uh, that's gonna wrap things up for the minutes to win it. Find us on Twitter at DF Cafe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We got lots of other great content at DailyFantasyCafe.com.